okay? And you can see the color of the OHP is changing very subtly. If you look at my beaker, you can see that it's actually changing. And this is because we're generating very, very tiny particles of sulfur, actually, in the solution. And what they do is they interact with the light and they scatter it. The light actually bounces off the sulfur. And that means and the blue light is scattered more strongly than the red. So the red is transmitted. The blue, on the other hand, is scattered. And you can see this real equivalent of a kind of something that's going on. <laughs> so it's a little bit contrived. But you can certainly see that. Now, of course, we've now made so many particles at this point, right? that really there are many, many collisions happening. You're getting multiple scattering. And the whole thing actually starts to go white. And in fact, you start to get the red glow in the solution itself, because all the blue light gets bounced out very, very early on. And all this remain that remains to percolate onto the top um, is going to be red. One of the things I would have loved to have done this evening that I just couldn't afford the 200 quid was to actually go and take a look at what happens if the particle size is larger than that light. And if you use 1.7 micron particles, then things get very interesting. And we will do a complete recreation of the explosion of cracking point in here, perhaps next year or the year after, when I've actually met this sugar daddy who will give me the money to do it.